Oh boy, hey everyone, I'm back. More Zombie You with me, William Strife. Dear God, what an experience last time. I, uh, I fought off tons of zombies. I nearly died. I, uh... Oh my God, there's just, there's just so much stuff has happened. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. And uh, I'm nearly dead, which is why I'm really happy that I just found this extremely potent med pack. Okay. So, um... Let's get that barricade off. Yeah, this is where I screwed up. Lost most of my health. Instead of jumping off and landing here, I jumped off, like, right there, and landed way down. Private. That's a door I can't open. So, something opened up further down on another level. Oh, here we go. This is the door that burst open. Tap to open. Oh, crap. Ah! Use a ladder. I guess... This means that I'm headed back to the safe house. Yep, sure enough. Oh boy, what an experience. Oh my god. Vikram runs the shortage petrol station at the top of Brick Lane. Him and his family live in the flat above. You can't miss it. He shut himself in there and been trading fuel to survivors. You might have to breach his perimeter, but once you're through, just tell him the prepper sent you. Uh, lower the spread on my crossbow. Nice how it's just gone, you know, completely pitch black there. And I'll upgrade the capacity of my sniper rifle from five to eight rounds. And now I don't have any more. Oh yeah, this is not good. Generator's dead. Um, let's see. What can I? St what should I keep and what should I store? That's the big question. Shotgun rounds. I'll get rid of those. Uh, get rid of one of those flares. I don't have any bullets for the AK. Um, I think I'll leave it at that. But I will nab a healing kit. There we go. I'll close it. And the next step 
is to take a quick nap. Alright, now I get to meet a fuel baron of the of post apocalyptia. Into the manhole I go. And where am I headed? Back to the markets. Let's see how this works out. Okay, here I am back in the markets. Looks like we got a couple of zombie problems out here. Shouldn't be anything that I can't handle, though. Ugh. See, this is what I'm talking about. I, I've, I remember dying once because of this. I go and I activate a door, and instead of just going through, it tells me, Oh, I'm sorry, you can't open that door. I have to load the area first. Which is not cool. Got a glower. Quite a few of them down there. Keys, cell phone. Uh oh. It saw me. This one isn't going to go down easy. That much is obvious. Death to you, glowy. Really, I'm starting to wonder. Gun upgrade, firepower. I guess that's what the glowing means. Yep, I'm up here. Come and get me. Come on, just a little bit more. Managed to nick me. Just a couple of ravens.
Oh, shite. I'm taking a detour back down into the subway. I'm not hanging around to find out what type of freaks come out of the woodwork now that he's screaming his head off. Oh, this is sweet. They gotta crouch down, which means I can finish them off while they're on the floor. Finish him! Assault rifle ammo. That worked out relatively well in my favor, that's for certain. Ugh, empty. Ugh, empty. Ugh, empty. Okay, I need to... I think I'm going to be doing this jig a couple of times over. Damn it. My hand is in the way. Ow, son of a... Okay. I managed to kill him. back and um, actually you know what it's getting kind of late and I'm not that far from the safe house so what I think I'm gonna do given the circumstances is I'm gonna call it an episode here and I'm gonna take you know I'm gonna call it a night for myself because it's uh, it's just a little bit too late for me to keep going but granted I'll pick up right here when you guys come back. See you guys in the next episode. Bye.